So I just want to return to this profitability versus liquidity, which is always the one of the main issues anyway with working capital management. So we said if you focus on profitability, what will end up happening is in terms of inventory, it will be high because you don't want to have the risk of stockouts. But if your focus was on liquidity, it would be low because you don't want to spend all this money on stock unless you really need it. If it's receivables, then you're going to offer a lot of credit terms, a lot of credit days, okay, and so therefore you'll have high receivables because you're trying to entice customers to you. But if you were focused on cash and focused on liquidity, you'd be offering very little credit terms, and so therefore your receivables would be low. Okay, and the opposite for payables, although payables tends to be a little bit out of your um, out of your uh, control but you would try and make those as low as possible but it is a little bit out of your control so you can't really say what would happen okay so that's um, that's profitability versus liquidity to how it affects working capital management now just wanted to go and have a look at the one thing that we've ignored so far is cash. Now, cash, inventory, receivables, payables, they all have their own uh, little section that we'll come on to later. But I just wanted to mention cash here, and particularly the reasons why we hold cash. Okay, so why have it? Why hold it? Okay, and it was actually a, an economist, John Maynard Keynes, who came up with this, who said we hold cash for speculation purposes the first one okay and all speculation means is if there's an opportunity that comes along well that's okay because we've got cash we'll be able to take advantage of that uh, opportunity so it could be for example buying you get offered uh, a stock or you get offered an asset at a big discount that's okay you can take uh, advantage of that because you've held cash back just for this speculation purpose another purpose would be just to keep cash as a precaution in case you really need it in an emergency one day, maybe a big uh, a big sale falls through and you need to pay the rent, so holding cash for precaution. And then the more obvious one, you hold it for transaction purposes, don't you? You hold it for the everyday uh, needs. Um, and so that's it, really. Uh, they're the three reasons, and it does come up in exam questions, as you'll see. Just remember that, speculation, precaution, transaction. Be able to write a couple of sentences about each, and you're done. <clears throat> now, link to this a little bit is something called over-trading. Again, something that gets examined an awful lot. It's a separate uh, heading in the syllabus. Okay, so over-trading. What does this mean? Okay, um, what it means is you might have insufficient capital to pay your liabilities in the future. Okay. Um, and even though you are being very, very profitable, so it's an overemphasis on profitability. Okay. So we'll have here year two year one okay you'd expect if sales were 100 you might expect something like that okay uh that's the first what the examiner will ask is um what are the symptoms of over trading is this company over trading and the first thing you look for is a big increase in sales okay you have a big increase in sales but the capital, your working capital, doesn't match that increase in sales, okay? It doesn't match, match it because, let's say, inventory, um, what would happen with inventory is, let's say you had 20 inventory here, you'd expect inventory, let me write it out properly, I guess, to be maybe 40, but it's gone up, it's gone up to 60, okay? Your inventory days are beginning to struggle a little bit, so an increase... Uh, 
an increase in inventory or yeah an, an increase in your inventory days let's say okay and that's because you're stockpiling uh in anticipation of more turnover coming and so of course you've got more costs to, to bear to have because you've got to look after this stock okay receivables as well those receivable days would increase let's say receivables were 30 here they may increase to something like 80 there again so you're relaxing your credit terms um, and so what you'll find is because of all this can you imagine what's going to happen to your cash if you've got a lot of money tied up in inventory and your receivables aren't paying you even though you're being very profitable you know it could go from cash like that to all of a sudden big big overdraft so as the liquidity problems that are associated with over trading deepens then we have an increased reliance on an overdraft and on trade payables. So trade payables, again, let's say that they were 10 here. You might see them uh, shoot up to 30 here. And it's because we, we don't have the cash to, to fund this big increase in our turnover, this big increase in our stock, this big increase in our receivables. So we're funding it by... A huge overdraft now and also by saying to the creditors look I can't afford to pay you so my creditors days just get bigger and bigger and bigger okay now that's okay you may think well that's a good thing but obviously that can't last forever you can't have a big increase in trade payables forever because they'll just stop supplying to you okay and the other things that you want to look out for is uh, decreases in the current ratio and the quick ratio the acid test okay you'll often see that these two decrease and the current ratio uh, as you'll see is your current assets over your current liabilities okay and because your current liabilities your overdraft just becomes too big and your payables becomes too big so that tends to go down okay and particularly um, if we take out the increase in the inventory, then particularly the quick ratio will also be a big problem. So if you do get a question over trading, they're the things you want to be looking for then. You want to be looking for more profits because it's a focus on profitability, too much of a focus. More sales, big increase in sales, big increase in inventory days, big increase in receivable days. That's hard, that's, that's really hard for us because we've got to fund that somehow. Okay, how are we funding it? By a big increase in trade payable days, a big increase in your overdraft, so a reduction in your cash. And then also look to see, particularly the quick ratio will be going down, but the current ratio will also be going down. Mention all those things and you'll get 100%.